Captain's Log, date January 10th, 1944. This is now the USS Trout's second day operating in the Bungo Straits. Everyone is starting to feel a tad uneasy, however. We have sunk a total of four Japanese vessels in the area. It is fairly safe to assume that the Japanese know we are here. Despite this danger, the USS Trout will stay on the station to engage the Japanese convoy that is heading this way. They should be here very soon, unless they have changed course, that is. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. We are currently patrolling just south of the Bungo Straits here, waiting for a convoy. I just got two radar contacts though, of two, I, I don't know, contacts. I guess moving south speed is medium. Uh, let's go ahead and turn due north here, and see what we can find here. I've been laying in wait, sort of, for this convoy. It, the last known position was here, moving north. They might have rerouted the convoy, since they obviously know a submarine might be in the area, with four ships sunk in uh, about one day uh, time span. So, we're going to go ahead and proceed north and see what these guys are. They were just heading fast, according to my radar operator. They very well could be a hunter-killer group of sorts, but we're going to go ahead... Let's turn northwest here. All right, we'll go ahead and let's man battle stations now. It's just gonna be one o'clock, January 11th. All right, we'll go ahead and man battle stations and prepare to dive here. As these two contacts close in rather quickly, let's see if we can hear them. According to the map, we can hear them. Warships. Turn off radar. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to end up engaging this. Speaking of warships, the last warship we sunk over here, the Patrol Boat 102, actually has a pretty interesting story. Uh, which I'll go ahead and talk about for a second. It was a American Clemson class destroyer and it was scuttled later and it ended up actually uh, serving with the Japanese Navy for a time. It was actually recaptured uh, at the end of the war and uh, used as target practice later. Uh, IMJW uh, left a comment on my last video letting me know about that. It was pretty cool. So, I guess I technically sunk an American destroyer, <laughs> and, in a way, but that's a pretty nifty little story. Alright, so we'll go ahead and approach, and see how far away are they now. Seven nautical miles. Yeah, alright, periscope depth now. See what is their current bearing? Two zero. Let's see if I can see anything out here. Yeah, it looks like no visual contact still. Man, I wish this weather would really let up. It has been rough seas almost this entire patrol. I have a feeling my game might be a little glitched out. Uh, and that's why we've been experiencing such foul weather this entire time. Um, okay, for a second there I thought they changed course and were heading straight for me. Alright, let's turn just due west now. Let's see, we should be able to see them now. I will say, the sky and the water is very clear here though. Alright, let's come up just a couple of feet. And scan the horizon. Oh, okay. Holy shit, we got a flat top. Okay. Wow. <laughs> um, a surprise, to be sure, but a pleasant one. Um, let's see here. It looks like it's escorted by probably a destroyer back there. We're obviously going to hit the flat top. We have three torpedoes, fiddlesticks. Okay, well, let's head standard. Let's try to close here as quickly as possible. Because this destroyer in the aft is, 
Uh, yeah, he's about 5,000 yards aft of the carrier. So hopefully he doesn't hear us. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I think he is. I think the carrier is, however, zigzagging. Let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and begin identifying. I'm not well versed in Japanese flat tops. Here we go. A Teo Escort Carrier. I believe that is what we got here. Mostly because of this this mass is very pretty distinctive here. Yeah, that's definitely it. Lock on target. 17,000 tons. Wow, that's a pretty beefy escort carrier. It's not like our Vogue class escort carriers or anything like that. I think this is much larger. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and begin speeding her out now. now if she is zigzagging, this is not... Oh, she is really rocking in these waves. Oh. Okay. Shoot. I have to reset that. See, this weather is causing difficulties with my uh, start timer. I have to hop to the map really fast to mark her position on the map. There we go. All right. All ahead one third. We are definitely close enough now. Okay. Draft is 19 feet. It looks like she's riding pretty high in the water, though, so I probably won't set my torpedoes too deep. I don't know if she's going somewhere for repairs or something like that. Probably. So I'll probably set my torpedoes uh, probably, I'm thinking closer to 10 or 15 feet just to be sure I get hits here. I don't want to run the risk of my torpedoes running underneath the keel of the ship. Wow, this is really surprising. This is way better than a convoy. <laughs> All right, where's that escort? We need to keep tabs on that guy. It's a two stack, definitely is most likely a destroyer. Capable of pounding our asses into the seabed, so we need to be pretty careful about that. All right, let's swing her around. All right, just past one minute, one minute, 10 seconds now. It's a nice looking carrier though. We'll go take a look at it when we launch our torpedoes. I could probably be setting all this other stuff up now that I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so tube five is going to be, tube five, so tube four is our Mark 14. That's the one I'm really worried about is our Mark 14. We'll shoot tube five last at a high setting and we'll shoot it quite a few seconds after, or Tube four, bloody. We'll shoot tube four quite a few seconds after tube six and five are gone. Just so the wake is the last thing they see. Um, tube five, we'll do contact on all. I want no risk of a <laughs> uh, dud here. And we'll set depth. Let's do 12 feet on all. It, probably, it would be more effective to use magnetics, but I just, with only four torpedoes, I want hits. And the very least, I want to be able to cripple her. And we're passing 30 seconds. Get ready to take our speed reading here. So, tube four, we need to be sure it's the last one we launch. We'll probably shoot tube four 15 seconds after we launch uh, tubes five and six. All right, let's get ready to take the reading. Lock on target, go to the map, mark. They were heading fast, so they're probably changing speed occasionally. My radar operator said they were heading fast. 18 knots, 18 and a half knots. Yeah, I can believe that, this thing's loud. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Let's make sure, yep, top of the mast here. Set.
AOB. AOB is at about 75 degrees or 60. Yes, let's see 70. 70 degrees. Set speed is currently 18 and a half knots. Probably accelerating. Probably going a little faster, but we'll see. Turn on position keeper. We still have a little while before we need to shoot. Not much time though. All right, let's flood all tubes. Set. More and more reading. Let's do 75 now. 80. She's closing quick, so 18 and a half knots. Set. <sighs> okay. 2,000 yards. Closing. All right, tube five, fire. Tube six, fire. All right, both torpedoes are away. Runtime, about two minutes, 15 seconds. I'll launch tube four at 20 seconds. All right, tube four. Tube four, fire. Turn around. Scope down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe we found another aircraft carrier. We've been pretty lucky with aircraft carriers. Jeez, I guess it is relatively small. You can definitely tell. Pretty cool, though. All right, she is definitely hauling ass. Oh, our Mark 14 is definitely overtaking her. We'll see if it hits. Oh no, it's gonna miss, isn't it? God damn it. To hell. All right. Way too fast. God. God damn it. Oh my god. All head flank. I'm gonna get one torpedo into this guy. Uh, I didn't mean to deploy decoys. I don't even think I have decoys yet. <laughs> Alright. Speed, a little less. Let's do 17 and not set. AOB. Oh god. Uh, we are whipping her around rather quickly. Rudder amidships. AOB is bloody awful now. I'm getting I'm getting a hit into this thing if it's the last thing I do. Uh, let's do, yeah, 17 knots, why not? Alright, tube 8, fire! We'll see. Alright, tube 8 is away. <laughs> That's gonna miss. Yeah. Torpedo missed, sir! God damn it. It's a nice try, I suppose. A nice effort. Gosh darn it, I'm very upset that we missed. That is so lame. Alright, well, let's go ahead and slow down. So we have a Japanese ashore closing in on us now. Let's go ahead and go back down to... Let's go down to 90 feet and just get the hell out of Dodge. I guess that's going to be it for this patrol. <laughs> Completely out of torpedoes. God damn it. Medium speed moving away. I guess he was not going extremely fast. Oh, wow, that destroyer is already on top of us. Okay, let's go down to 120 feet. Let's turn this off. Oh. 
I mean, I'm upset, but we can't get them all, can we? Alright, so we're going to have to evade this guy now. Let's take a look at what it is. Like a destroyer. Yeah, definitely definitely a big destroyer. Exactly. Kind of what I was worried about. <laughs> I figured it would have been a good destroyer. Alright, we're going down to 120 feet. And I'm not sure what the depth under the keel is. We're in fairly deep water, I want to say. I don't want to use our echo ranging device because, well, that would give away our position in real life. So we're not going to do it in game. Rudder and midships now. Well, that is definitely it for the USS Troutless Patrol. All torpedoes have now been expended, so we definitely need to go home. Hull damage is at 15%, so I definitely need to be careful while trying to escape this guy. Because a depth charge in the wrong area is going to mess my world up. However, it looks like the destroyer is having some issues. The rough seas are definitely going to help me out quite a bit. Let's go ahead and rig for silent running. Can't believe it took me so long to do that. Okay, the destroyer is actually closing in on us rather quickly. All right, uh, hydrophone operator, can you track this guy for me? Follow him, please. Okay, he's gonna start beginning his depth charge pattern. When he drops his depth charges, I'll go ahead and see how much room we have to play with. I'll ping. Oh god. Both engines ahead flank. Change course. Change depth. Let's go down 20 more feet, 140, please. Let's go ahead and ping. 300 feet? Hell yeah. Okay, we have plenty of room. Let's go down to... Let's go deep. Yes, please. Moving slow. Going down quickly. Rudder zero. All right, looks like he kind of went to the side of us. Slow down. This is really when I wish I had a cutie or something. My goal is this deep water and then <laughs> midway, obviously. But I'm sure he's calling for backup. This is when I wish we only had uh, <laughs> uh, Mark 18s. That way that, that carrier wouldn't have seen our <laughs> torpedo wakes. Anyway, it was worth a shot. And you can't get them all as, you know. Alright, looks like he stopped pinging. Well, I will keep playing this cat and mouse game with this destroyer, and I will get back to you guys on probably his next attack run. Looks like he's still searching for us. I'll try to keep on this course. Passing Looks like thermal layer. passing thermal layer. I think we're going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and make a turn though, so we're not. He's not in our baffles. I want to try to keep um, in contact with him and know where he is at all times. So I will update you guys when things start to get a little more hairy. All right, he's beginning another attack run. This one does not look good. Changing course. Once again, let's go deeper, 200 feet. He hasn't actually dropped any depth charges just yet, but he is, his attack runs are getting pretty close. Just make sure my damage control team, yeah, they're all on station and ready to go. Oh, he's right above us, oh shit. Deeper. Stop pinging, it's probably rolling charges now. What's he doing up there? Let's take a look at him. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. 
Oh, he only launched one. But that's still not good. Mm, rudder zero. Rudder midships, please. Mm, that was actually pretty far off. We'll see. Cross your fingers, boys. Hey. Yeah, that was pretty far off, too. Like, he's not doing very well. Oh. That was a little closer. But still, nothing. No rattling, no, no nothing. All right, well. Hey, I'm not complaining. Let's go back down. <laughs> and we'll rinse and repeat, and hopefully he doesn't hit us. That was his first depth charge run, though. The last time he didn't actually drop charges on us. Oh boy, this is nerve wracking. I this is not where I want to die. This is not where I want to die in the Bungo Strait. Not, not where I want to die. So, all right. Well, I will get back to you guys, as always, momentarily. So it looks like the Japanese warship has already decided to uh, skedaddle. I guess you. Figures he better be escorting that carrier before another submarine happens to torpedo it. Uh, so it looks like he's getting out of here. Beautiful, perfect. So that was a little hairy, but not too shabby. So we'll go ahead and surface the boat here. And let's secure from battle stations. Give my men a rest. I'm sure they're all pretty tired at the moment. They were on battle stations for quite a while, but we just, we made it out again by the skin of our teeth. So let's go ahead and go to Midway Island and make sure we don't hit any of these islands. It's a long journey, but I gotta say, I'm very happy we are sailing into Midway uh, as our home base of operations. I think it's gonna be a blast. Hopefully, I get a new boat. What the fuck is that? Ship radar contact. How much deck on ammo do I have? 56 rounds. All head standard. Let's close in on it, see what it is. See what all the hoopla is about. Alright, we have visual. Very bright night with this full moon here. Let's see here. Where is it? All right, we have a Japanese merchant ship right at 016, so we will probably try to engage it with the deck gun here. All stop. Let's go ahead and get my gun crew on the deck gun once again. For one last hurrah. I'm expecting to get a new boat at the end of this patrol. Alright, let's go ahead and man your battle stations, men. So this will be the last victim. Our last victim, it seems. So let's go ahead and... God, I cannot see diddly squat. Well, we'll go ahead and wait for it to close just a smidge. All right, we should be in good order now. It's at about 200 degrees. There it is. All right, and let's go ahead and get range to target. Let's make this first shot really count here, boys. All right, go and fire one. This merchant ship is, and I missed. Overshot just a bit. This merchant ship is probably pretty heavily armed, as are most Japanese merchant ships at this point. I feel like they all have these oodles of guns <laughs> on board. I think I already see one on the bow there. Yep, sure do. These, this sea state is not helping things at all. Ooh, there we go. Wow, that was, that was easy. Well, that was Staples easy right there. 
I am not sponsored by Staples. Not yet, anyway. Alright, we got another secondary. See, I doubt, I don't even think she sees us. Probably figure it out when they spot the muzzle flashes. I'm sure they were all asleep in their bunks. I'll stop. And you know, there was a fairly large explosion. <laughs> Probably woke someone up. Alright, we are overshooting now. Oh, there we go. There's some machine guns. Had to man the guns, it seems. Yikes. Do not like that. Do not like that. AC conditions are making it very hard to hit. Oh boy. Every time I see that 5 inch gun go off, or that whatever caliber. Oh my god, we keep missing. All ahead standard. Or slow, whatever. I don't care. Just start moving. Oh god. AC conditions. Not helping at all. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's just the way the ship is rocking, it makes this nearly impossible. Very difficult. Looks like they stopped firing. I'll stop. Maybe my, my crew can do better than me with this. I don't know, though. There we go. Got another hit. They're trying very hard to hit us, but... Oh, that actually... Oh, yeah, God. Every time... Every time it just scares me. <laughs> it's terrifying. Just the whistle of that shell crossing over my head. And we're getting some pretty good hits here, though. Now, it seems like... It seems like all of their guns reload at the same time. Which is interesting. There we go. We're getting good hits now. It's like four hits in a row, something like that. That's pretty. That is. That is good. Let me tell you. There we go. Another good waterline hit. Going three knots. Man, it's just this sea state. What is the weather? Wind 15 meters per second. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, blew off her crane. That's really going to hurt them. Yeah, that's a lot. That's pretty windy. Pretty, pretty windy. Alright. Getting quite a few good hits here. She should start to go down soon, you would think. It is a fairly hunky vessel, however. It's thick. Uh, that definitely overshot, yep. Alright, let's go ahead and increase range. Just a smidgen. Oh man, these deck gun attacks. I wonder what my next boat is going to be. At this point in the war, it's either going to be a Gato class sub or a Baleo. I'd be happy with either one, honestly. Speaking of which, I guess I'll talk about it now. Why not? Uh, there will be a short break in videos. Uh, just uh, one week. I am actually driving, going to Florida uh, this upcoming week. The week after this video is uploaded. And uh, on my way, I'm going to stop in Mobile, Alabama and see the USS Alabama. And there's also a Gato class submarine there. The USS Drum, which you might have heard of. Fairly famous submarine. So I'll be seeing both of those on my adventure. I also plan to stop at the Naval Aviation Museum. This should be fun. So I just wanted to explain why there might be a short break between uh, at least Silent Hunter videos. We'll see though. Ooh, there we go. Another good hit. This could, if you're watching this in the future, then uh, none of this matters. Like, why is this guy talking about this? Nobody cares. Anyway, she is listing extremely heavily. She'd probably go down uh, without more help but I I figure we have 30 rounds it's fun to shoot the gun 
Gotta love, this is, might be the last time we see this five inch gun. You know, I keep talking about me getting a new boat and, and watch, uh, watch me not get a new boat. <laughs> That'd be very amusing, wouldn't it? That'd be hilarious. I'm sure everyone would get a good kick out of that, but I for one would like a new sub with the, with the new conning tower, the iconic conning tower. Uh, not this bathtub style conning tower that we seem to have now. And it looks like she is not, we're just missing now. Let's go ahead and let my gun crew go ahead. Fire at will, go for it. Go, go bananas boys. Where are y'all? Let's see how they do against her. I don't even see the ship we were shooting at. Oh, there it is. Okay, they their shell landed way out here. They, that was bad. Oh wow, she is yeah not doing very well. Oh, pfft. oh, I thought they shot their that gun just straight into the water there. Yeah, she's listing pretty heavily. She's definitely, and we are crippling the Japanese war effort out here. It's like three trucks, and that's very unfortunate. Oh no, what happened, dude? Did y'all see that? Just like tipped over. Poor fella. Yeah, she's done for. I'll go ahead and use some time compression here and watch her just go slowly glide beneath the waves. So majestic like. All right, come on now. <laughs> All right, y'all have one round? Okay, don't fire. Let's go ahead and get nice and close to it. Oh my God, it's really running? No way, no way. It is moving at that s speed. Should not be able to sustain that. Oh, rut row. Large convoy moving south? Well, too bad I launched all my torpedoes at a stupid aircraft carrier. <sighs> so much targets, so little time. No, oh, so little ordnance. All right, let's go ahead and approach it. I doubt they'll be able to even train their guns onto us. We'll see though. Ooh! Okay, all ahead flank. Oh shit! Oh god! Crash dive! <laughs> oh, we're out of ammo. We're out of ammo. Apparently they launched our- Okay, get off the deck. Get off the deck. All right, I I'm, <laughs> I was mistaken. Apparently he can train his gun, okay. All right, let's go ahead and yeah, get under. Not, don't wanna mess with that. God damn, they were accurate. You would think they would have abandoned this ship by now. I'm gonna wait until this son of a bitch goes down. All right, bro. I like how? How are they managing to do that? They're launching this gun and they're like... <laughs> oh man, she is... No way. No way this thing's gonna stay up. Now, alright, we can level out at like, yeah, 50 feet. All ahead, one third. This thing better sink. I'm gonna be furious. We're gonna track it until it sinks. And all these, this convoy is coming right for us. Of course it is. Hopefully none of those destroyers just come sniffing around over here. I can't believe this thing's still sailing. This has been, we have been so unlucky. Wow. I can't believe it.
Did it go down over here? Let's see. Nope, it's still just chugging along. I guess it's gonna make it back to port. There's absolutely nothing I can do about this l rinky dink little merchant ship. And it looks like we're catching up to it. Is it going? Probably like three knots or something like that? I really can't believe this. Well, I guess I'll track it for a little bit longer, but it looks like she's doing relatively okay. Super lame. Super duper lame. There, I don't think there's really anything I can do against this thing. I mean, my machine gun is not going to damage it. I think the waves would eventually take her down. Well, I'll track her for the night, and once it hits daybreak and she's still sailing like this, I'm just going to go on home. So, I'll get back to you guys soon. Yep, I don't think she's going to go down. I don't see how this thing is still able to move or stay afloat, but... I guess I, I really shouldn't have let my deck gun crew go bananas. I really thought she was just going to sink, but evidently not. So we're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. We have ran smack dab into m the middle of a sandpan convoy, so <laughs> we're going to head home now. There's a whole bunch of sandpans out here. Let's go take a look at one of them. Well, that was, that was pretty uneventful. Ah oh, man, I really thought she was going to go down. Look, they have all sorts of little fish on on board. That's pretty neat. Alright, yeah, well we're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here. We traveled pretty far up the Bungo Strait, so we need to get home. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and escape. There's another convoy report way out here. Jeez, flooded with convoys. Mer warships closing. Alright, well we're going to avoid those, I'm going to get on home, and I will get back to you guys when something of interest happens. Hopefully we do not get detected by these warships, but uh, stay tuned. Okay, just a quick update, it is currently January 13th, and we have successfully made it out of the Bungo Straits fairly easily. We're heading standard speed to Midway, should be there in the next few days, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, well that was a fairly fun attack, um, <laughs> that's probably the most I've failed in a while. We whiffed on a carrier and then, you know, shelled a Japanese merchant ship to near death, but not quite there. But you know one thing, I was actually reading in, I forgot which book it was, it was probably, uh, I think in Rise of the Fall of the Japanese Empire, but it was actually harder on the Japanese to repair their ships that were damaged than to just outright build a new one, so we're hurting the Japanese war effort in one way or another. <laughs> And that ship was pretty, pretty damaged, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I don't think there's, it'll probably take them a while. And the main reason for that was because building a new ship uh, was so streamlined, uh, the way you build it. All the materials were there, but, you know, it was kind of, it's different repairing a, sh repairing a ship, because you need different parts and stuff like that. It's not as streamlined, less organized, so. Anywho, that, that's that. We're just going to cruise across the Pacific at... A reasonable time compression and uh, I will see you guys at Midway Island well everybody here we are and welcome to Midway Island let's see a couple of looks like Fletcher class of shores maybe chilling over here more destroyers there is our sub tender you can see a Vallejo class or Gato class sub over there looks like a cruiser of some sorts Overall, uh, came in the darkness of night. Not much activity going on, though, that I can see. The map is just filled with stuff, however. A lot of PT boats, it seems like. So, we'll go ahead and dock here. Um, at the start of the next patrol, we will get a better look at Midway Island. So, let's go ahead and end the patrol. Do I want to dock? Yes, I do. We completed both of our objectives. We sunk eight merchant ships and one warship for a total of 48,572 tons of shipping. And, uh, yeah, our sub returned to base. Let's go ahead and hit next. All right, the Bronze Star Medal for Extraordinary, Hero Ugh, blah, blah, blah. For extraordinary he Heroism as Commanding Officer of the USS Trout SS-202 during the 11 war patrols of that vessel. That includes our... Um, 
this includes all of our boats we've been on so the s32 the sailfish and now the trout so okay oh my god i'm no new boat you gotta be oh my gosh i'm furious how dare they let's go ahead well that is that is lame that is that is lame let's go turn on the music for a second just make this a little more atmospheric well i am i suppose we will stay in the uss trout but you know what i'm gonna do damn it we're gonna go ahead measure 32 paint scheme is getting slapped on the uss trout by this time the uss trout has had its overfit it was probably going back out the sea around this time anyway so we'll go ahead and throw it on just to spice things up a little bit it looks like uh, we just have SJ radar, which we have better, and WCA listening gear. Yeah, good. Um, have the deck gun. Okay. Well, yeah, nothing much uh, to really add in here. I will switch out a lot of these Mark 14s for Mark 18 since we have a plethora of renown. We can just go ahead and swap most of them out. Honestly, the Mark 18s seem to be working a lot better. Um, mostly because the lack of awake really does make a difference, uh, one hell of a difference, honestly. So we will be swapping those out. Crew should be fine, probably have quite a few medals, yeah, lots of medals. And lots of promotions, bloody hell. Alright, well, looks like I have my work cut out for me at base, but at least now we are at Midway Island, so it should be somewhat exciting. So we're going to be patrolling in the East China Sea, it seems, next patrol. Alright, well, thank you all as always. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you guys on the next one, where we sail out of Midway Island and uh, take on the Japanese fleet in the South China Sea. So, again, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off.